This lecture is on the measures of solute clearance in peritoneal dialysis. We'll go through some formulae for the calculation of clearance. In peritoneal dialysis, the clinical measurements of small solute clearance is the standardized KT over V urea, or sometimes called the weekly KT over V urea, and also the weekly creatinine clearance. What is clearance, K? Let's look at this example of having 1 mg of a substance in 100 ml of plasma. This will give us a concentration of 10 mg per liter of the substance. Let us say if 0.6 mg of the substance appeared in the urine from the original 1 mg, in actual fact, the plasma would have 0.4 mg in 100 ml remaining, and that would be 4 mg per liter. For the concept of clearance, it would mean that 60 ml of the plasma is completely cleared of substance X, while 40 ml of the plasma is uncleared and it remains at 10 mg per liter. So this is a very theoretical and conceptual number. So in this case, the clearance of X is 60 ml, and if it occurred over one minute, it is 60 ml per minute. How is clearance K calculated? We start by assuming the amount cleared from the blood is equal to the amount cleared in the urine. You divide both sides of the equation by time. You calculate the amount cleared from the blood as the volume cleared multiplied by the plasma concentration and the amount cleared in the urine as the concentration in the urine multiplied by the volume of the urine. You re rearrange the equation and you will get K, which is equals to the volume cleared per unit time, and you get V, which is equivalent to the urine flow rate. So clearance K equals to the concentration in the urine divided by the concentration in the plasma multiplied by V, which is the, again, the urine flow rate. So this is a very common formula that you will see in the medical textbooks. This simple formula works in steady conditions. And if you use a time collection of urine, it will be calculated by K equals to urine concentration and plasma concentration of the substance multiplied by the urine flow rate, which is the volume of urine collected over the time with which the volume was collected. If you are calculating peritoneal dialysis clearance, instead of a time collection of urine, this will be a time collection of the peritoneal dialysate. And K will be calculated by the dialysate divided by plasma concentration of the substance multiplied by the volume of dialysate divided by the time over which the dialysate was collected. And now that we know how to calculate K, just by a few simple rearrangement of the formula, you bring T over, you divide both sides of the equation by V, which is the volume of distribution of urea, and you assume that the volume of distribution of urea is equal to the total body water, you get this formula. And if we want the standardized or the weekly KT over V, you simply multiply the daily KT over V urea by 7. If you have the KT over V urea of peritoneal dialysis and of the residual renal function from the urine, you can simply add them together and you get the total weekly KT over V. So in summary, these are the clearance formulae that we use in peritoneal dialysis. For the total weekly KT over V urea, we have the standardized KT over V for PD, which we have derived in the earlier slides. If we collect a 24-hour urine collection, we can calculate the residual renal function. And if you add it all together, you get the total standardized KT over V for the week. Using the same methods to derive, we can get the, this formula for 
the creatinine clearance in a week. The same for the residual renal function, and this can also be added together. Total body water can be calculated most commonly using the Watson formula.